Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. All right, people, I have another uh, pickup for you. This time, this is from Amazon. This is just going to be a battery tester, just a simple battery tester. It just analyzes your battery just to make sure if you have a good battery or not. Uh, it checks the um, the cold cranking amps and it lets you know if you need to replace your battery or not. Um, now, this was only 20-some bucks off Amazon. Uh, now, the model number for this is bm 55 zero and it doesn't run on batteries uh, it runs on when you hook it up to your when you hook it up to your a battery uh, these alligator clips they are what powers it turns it on like i said it's got a couple little buttons here so it's very simple to use it's very you know just very minor tool to use i, I can't figure it out but it does six uh 12 and 24 volt batteries it has uh, over voltage input protection uh, polarity reverse protection, and then a couple other tests that it does. Again, I told you about the batteries. Um, it's uh, like a two inch display here, and the thing's about five inches long by two inches wide. Uh, like I said, it comes with the alligator clips. Uh, first, you start off by picking your voltage, then you type in your cold cranking amps, and then you hit the OK button to start it, and it gives you uh, the amperage and lets you know if it's good or not. Again, you have a couple little things here at the bottom. For abbreviations, SOH is the status of health, which it tells you on here. And it has a status of charge. So it lets you know all these things. Uh, turn of resistance and the battery voltage to let you know. I got told you about the model number, the test range, uh, equipment, the voltages, operating temperature. It'll operate from um, negative four degrees all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius is negative 20 all the way up to 50 degrees Celsius and then you have your product size this is made in China and I will put a link in the description to it in case you're looking for a simple little battery tester uh, as you can see here uh, the cop nice um, uh, copper uh, color at least anyway for the uh, for the battery clips they are a pretty decent size and then also it looks like it just has this connector here i thought this was a connector but this is all um one solid piece i thought this might unclip but it doesn't so this is all just one piece uh, i don't know what size wire this is but it's not uh it's pretty decent size wire so it's not that bad but um it's uh, also it's called king bullion bowling is the name of the company but well, we're going to go ahead we're going to hook it up to a couple batteries and uh, we'll just try it out. Okay guys, just to show you, uh, I hooked it up uh, wrong on purpose. I hooked the red up to the negative and then the uh, red I hooked up to the ground. Just to show you guys that it will not turn on if you hook it up backwards. Now we're going to go ahead and hook it up the right way. We'll put the end on there and then the positive on that and as you can see the display lights up so it does the overload protection does work and it will not if you hook it up backwards it will not ruin it so here you go here it is flashing so first you got to put in your battery type and you can use the up and down arrows and as you can see it cycles through so we're going to put this on the 12 volt and we're going to hit okay then i want you to put in the cold cranking amps this battery here it says 300 cold cranking amps you just hold again you use the analog buttons up and down we'll go all the way down to 300 and we'll just go back up one there's 300 and then you hit okay again and then the uh, test is going to start and it says it's a good battery 250 cold cranking amps and you can push the up or down arrow right here and it'll give you some more things in there voltage is at 12.6 so that's a good voltage anything above 12 i think is probably a pretty good voltage so that's at 12 for the volts the resistance uh about 10.38 milliamps uh the resistance or ohms and soc is 98 percent uh, i can't remember what uh i guess that's part of the charge 98 percent charge so that's good and the other uh, number there. All right, so your status of health is 69, and it says that it's good. And then your other one was uh, status of charge. Like I said, uh, that was at 98% charge, so that was saying it was good too. I had to go get the paper. I couldn't remember what it was, what it was for. But that's it, guys. Like I said, uh, four ba basic things that it reads, and it lets you know if your battery is good or not. 
And like I said, it's pretty simple. We'll go ahead and we'll try, we'll get one more vehicle. All right, guys, so we have another battery here. This Now, this one's from the, uh, the minivan. Now, this battery is a little bit newer. I think I put this might have put this battery in last year. Uh, this one's got 790 cold cranking amps. So we can go ahead and uh, we can try this one now and see what kind of uh, reading we get from this one. We'll crank this up to 790. Uh, let's see, 790, there we go. I'm gonna hit the start button. And there we go. 663, so that's good. 12.2 volts, that's good. There's your ohm reading. There you go. That's good. There's your charge output. And your battery, cold cranking amp. So yeah, so this battery is a little bit newer. All the uh, all the numbers read good on this one. Uh, like I said, this is a, a DECA, DECA Gold battery. I think this might have been a, a Walmart battery, whatnot. Trying to get the volts bigger there. This might have been a Walmart battery, I can't remember. But uh, that's it. We got one more uh, vehicle I want to try out. So we've got a uh, battery here for a Yukon. Uh, it's a die-hard battery. Uh, now this one's got 800 cold cranking amps. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, we'll test this one. So again, it's 12 volt. Hit the OK button. 500. We push the up button to that. And we'll change this to 800. There's 800. And then we'll hit OK again. And it's going to start the test. Cold cranking amps, 450. So it's normal. So it's it's uh, I guess it's getting close to being uh <laughs> going to need to be replaced here. So let's go up. 12.6 volts, which is normal again. And your ohms re reading is also normal. And battery uh, charge is 26% charge, which is normal as well. And then your output, uh, there's also 31%. Uh, so this battery is not great, but it is normal. Like I said, this battery here is a little a couple years old. I'm looking for a date on it. I don't really see a date on this battery. But yeah, it's starting to... Uh, Starting to get worn down, but it doesn't need to be changed yet. But that's just another one. Uh, also, guys, if your battery is completely dead, uh, doing this uh, voltage tester is not going to work. So if you do have a bad alternator and it kills the battery, uh, you won't be able to test the battery until you recharge the battery up and then uh, go with it that way. But that's it, guys. Uh, I hope everyone has a great day. Blessed day. I hope this video is uh, informative to you. Like I said, if you're just looking for a simple little battery tester, uh, this one works. So that's it, guys. Thank you and have a blessed day.